We have new information now about a murder that shocked a Sandalwood neighborhood last summer. News 4 Jax has obtained new evidence in the death of 42-year-old Julie Stewart. Court documents show her husband, Gerard Stewart, called family members and confessed. Police found her body in the trunk of a car. Gerard Stewart said he'd just taken pills to kill himself. News 4 Jax reporter Allison Henning has been combing through the discovery material. Allison. Yes, there are hours of video, hundreds of pictures, and more than 150 pages of information in this case. We have learned the retired Navy man accused of killing his wife of 20 years was served divorce papers back in April of this year. Custody of the couple's 10-year-old son became an emotional issue, and he told investigators he had been battling depression for the past four years and was about to lose his job. I don't want to get much anymore. Ever since this has been going on, I haven't been eating, I haven't been sleeping. How much weight have you lost? Probably about 30 pounds. 45-year-old Gerard Stewart is in the Duval County Jail facing a murder charge after police say he admitted to killing his wife, 42-year-old Julie Stewart. Following a SWAT standoff at the couple's Sandalwood home, police found the woman's body wrapped in bedding and plastic in the car trunk. They say she had multiple gunshot wounds, a cut throat, and a stab wound to the chest. These are some photos of evidence gathered at the scene, including multiple weapons and ammunition. News for Jax has learned the couple was going through a bitter divorce. I know whatever's happened in the past, we can work on our marriage. Yeah. And I begged her every single day, every single day. Stewart told police his wife told him she had been having an affair for the last five years. The couple was also battling for custody over their 10-year-old son. As long as she gave me my house and my son, she can have anything else she wanted. Because she started naming all the stuff she wanted, and I said, fine, you can have it all. I'm fine, but don't try to take my son from me. You can see Stewart in this video wiping away tears after talking about troubles with his wife and what comes next for his son. And Stuart was in court today where a tentative trial date was set for April next year.